In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your own custom font. So if you're currently, if you use Blender, this is the default font you come up um, that appears. So if you were to put some depth into it, so put some bevel depth, 0 0.05, and extrude it a little, 0 0.5. Yep, so if you were to extrude it, this is what it would look like. So this is the font you actually originally come out with. Uh, but if you want to put your own font in, what you can do is you can go to, what you need to do is go open up Google first. Once you've opened up Google, what you can type in is 3D fonts. Oops, spot that wrong. Okay, so you'll come up with a list of websites where you can actually find um, three different types of fonts that you can use. Okay, so I'm going to go to this website here. I'm just going to pick one. Okay, this, as you can see, once it, all you have to do is go through the different fonts. You find the font that you want. Okay, if you can't find it here, you can look at search for fonts alphabetically. You can look at different categories. Okay, once you've found the font that you want, all you have to do is click on download. Okay, and then you get a zip file. All you have to do is unzip that file. Uh, once you've unzipped it, it would give you a .ttf file, which is a true text file. Okay, once you've done that, go back to Blender. Then click on the font option here where you've already selected. Then go down to the font section. And on the first one, on the regular text, all you have to do is click on the folder. And then what you do, you locate the text that you've unzipped. So I've just saved um, one that I've saved previously. Okay, the Saxon one. And I'm going to double click that. And what you notice is that font has now changed. So it's changed to my custom font. It's as simple as that. Okay, obviously. Um, you can change that now. So the extruded, I've done the bevel. I can change that now. Change it back to. Let me change it to 0 0.01. Okay. Okay. Obviously, that looks a lot more better for me now. Um, extrude. I'm going to keep. Now, if I was to preview that, as you can see, this is my custom font now, and it's not the default font that I started with. So that's how an example or this demonstration how you can add your own custom fonts in Blender.